In this section, I'm going to cover all aspects of managing your staff. So this covers um, booking your instructors into the courses that are running, um, showing how to record holiday for your staff and sick leave, um, the days of the week that your staff may or may not be in, and also how to set up staff categories, which are a handy way of showing what your um, staff can and can't train. So um, what I'll do to start with is actually show you where you set up your staff and how you set up your staff categories. So if I go into my company and then into departments and staff and then my departments and staff, this should bring us up a list of all the staff that we've got set up at the moment. So here you can see we've got Hot Wheels Chelmsford, which is where I work from. And then these are our staff members at Hot Wheels Chelmsford. We also have another location where we've got a few other staff members and um, some rather unusual staff members there formed mainly from this week's TV viewing. And you'll notice here against the, um, the names are some categories which tell you what each of the instructors can or can't train. Um, this has been a very useful thing for motorcycle training companies. If you've got staff members booking in other instructors and you, they don't know precisely who can and can't do what. Um, so as an example, if I click on James Bond here, Mr. Bond, view the staff member details, and up here, of the staff categories. Now these you can create if you don't like what you see you can add or remove items here. So if we say Mr Bond, because he's very talented, he could probably do a lot of these. So if we tick on all of those, click on OK, you'll see how his categories have now been updated here. And if I come back here to the display, oops, I might have to actually click on the refresh there. Yep, so James Bond and there you see all his categories. Actually I'll put those on those back for the moment otherwise it's going to create problems later on. We'll say he's um, we'll get Mr Bond to work in the office today I think. There we go and that's updated there. So that's how we set up the, um, the categories that uh, each of our staff members can train. The next thing I'm going to do is actually book some of these staff members into the courses that I've currently got running. So if I go up to uh, my diary here, and Hot Wheels Chelmsford has got several courses running. So I can book in staff through the diary if I want to by right clicking on any course. Here you get the menu of things you can do with the courses and I'm gonna choose book staff. And what it should do is bring us up a list of all the available staff. And I will book in um, Frankie Howard, I think, into this CBT. Click on OK, and there you should see his update. So he's now been booked in to run this CBT, and I'll do the same here for this DAS day. I'll book another staff member in here. And you notice now it's instantly put Frankie Howard over in the busy staff because the system knows that he's already training a CBT at that time, so he can't therefore be available to take this course this DAS day. So I'll book Graham Norton in onto that one and click on OK there, and there we see his details have been updated there. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how you can also book in staff using the staff planner. Now this section has been uh, produced specifically for managing your staff. Um, so as you can see here, the two bookings that we've already made are showing up because the, the staff planner and the diary work hand in hand with one another. So these two have already been booked in, but you see this line here saying needing staff. What that's showing is on Tuesday the 1st, we've got two courses here which still don't have any staff members allocated. So what I'll do is just click on the 125 day here, and it should bring us up the same booking screen. And I will book in, um, who should we book into that course? Let's have that Dylan on that course. And when I click on OK, you'll see how then it's moved that course to his line. And likewise, the uh, DAS day, we will book in, um, who should we choose for this? Um, let's have Penelope Pitstop in on that. So obviously, we can't choose Matt because he's busy. Click on OK, and there you go. 
So now for this week, we've got all our courses covered. Um, there are none left in the uh, needing staff. If I make a mistake, I can easily remove this just by right clicking and choosing uh, delete staff booking. And you'll see how when I do that, it will put it back up into the needing staff area here. Um, there's quite a few handy things in the toolbar up at the top as well. I can choose any number of views here. I'll change it to a one month view. So now we get this scroll bar going across and hopefully you can see there that the names stay on the left hand side so you can actually see who's booked into what. Um, you can also under the options choose to see various items under the courses. So if I choose here show the start and end times you can now see start and end times for those courses. Um, I can also show the contacts that are currently booked in on those courses. There we go. So you see I'm booked in on that CBT and we've got two other people booked in on this DAS course. Um, if showing the names is too much, we can take those off. But what we can do is show the number of contacts we've got booked. So here, for example, we've got one contact booked with a capacity of four. This one obviously is full, two contacts booked, a capacity of two. Uh, you can also filter out uh, events that don't yet have any contact bookings. So oops, as an example, at the moment, this course here, although it shows it needs someone booked in, there are no contacts booked at the moment. So if you didn't want to see those, because there's no point in booking staff onto uh, courses where there aren't any uh, people booked in, if I choose this last option, you'll see how that now disappears. OK, I shall just reset that so that uh, we get that course back. Next thing I'm going to show is how to record holiday time. So if I click down here, we get a menu for the staff member to show how we can add holiday, sick leave, available time, unavailable time, or um, weekday availability. I'll, I'll show you three of those. The uh, staff holiday, if I add this in, it's saying, OK, it's defaulted to start from Friday 28th and end midnight 29th. Um, I'll bump that on, say, about um, oh, yeah, till 5th of February. That's fine. Click on OK there. And you'll see how now it's marked out the fact that uh, Penelope Pit Stop is now on holiday. Likewise, if I find, um, if I try to book in a course here, you will see that she's now indicated that she's unavailable because she's on holiday and it's a similar story for sick leave if I choose sick leave here we'll say that uh, Harry Potter is um, has been sick for a few days click on here and you see here is marked out that area um, as uh, being sick and Finally, there's the days of the week availability. I think I'll use um, James Bond for that. So we'll click on menu, and I think we'll say that he's he's normally available except on Saturday and Tuesday. So if I say set day of the week availability, um, this allows us to actually sketch out exactly when in the week each of your staff members are available. So I'll just change this to an hour because it makes it a bit easier to display. And what I'm going to do is say that on a Saturday, he's unavailable from 9 to 6 o'clock. There we go. And also on Tuesday, he's also unavailable for a similar amount of time. So there we go. Got those two areas mapped out for Mr. Bond. And you'll see here how display is updated to indicate that he is unavailable. So likewise, if we try to now make a booking for this DAS day, you see here how the number of people uh, who are unavailable has increased. We've got um, James Bond, who is unavailable from 9 to oh, 7 o'clock on a Tuesday. So I'll click on OK there. Um, now, the last thing I'm going to show you in the staff planner is the staff diary. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is to make a booking on this DAS day. And I will book in Graham Norton, I think. 
Um, yeah, so he's now got two DAS days running. Now you notice on the left hand side here where all the uh, names are, I can highlight these names. Now if I click on any of them, it will bring up a staff diary. So this is a diary, an individual diary for the staff member that you've clicked on. So it's now showing me for this week what he's doing on here on Saturday and on Tuesday. It calculates the number of staff hours. If we put in a staff cost, it actually co um, calculates the um, uh, cost of the staff member. And it also shows you the value of bookings that are run for that course. That's showing me I'm actually generating uh, £300 worth of income because we've got two bookings in on that DAS day. Um, and if I scroll down here, ah, it does look rather long. It's uh, it's set to uh, one month at the moment. Let me just take take that off. Uh, should be on one week. There we go. That's a bit better. Uh, and then it shows totals at the bottom, total staff hours, and there's a summary here showing um, the total number of training hours for DAS days, holiday, and sick leave. So if I click on OK there, then actually. I'll put that back to one week as well. We should then be able to see a similar thing. If I click on Penelope Pit Stop, that then shows that she's on holiday the entire week. Um, likewise, Harry Potter should have some sick leave going on here. And you see down the bottom here, it's in his summary. And lastly, Mr. Bond, who is unavailable on two days of the week. Finally, I'm going to show you how that information is all reflected through into the diary. So if I go back to our diary, now we'll have to click on the refresh button here to update the display if we made any changes to the bookings. Um, but if I now click back on the options button and then choose show staff holiday sick unavailable, we should find up at the top here, it will then show us exactly what our staff are up to that day. So we've got Mr. Bond, who's unavailable from 9 till 1900, Harry Potter, who's off sick, and Penelope Pitstop, who's on holiday. So at least you can reflect the information that you've put in in the staff planner through into the staff diary, which helps you when you come to make bookings into your, in through your diary. And uh, this information is reflected through in all of the diary views as well. So if I click back on Diary Planner, and choose, say, the four-week calendar, you'll see how all that um, unavailable time, busy time, is now automatically included. So you can see here, Mr. Bond is unavailable on every Tuesday and every Saturday.